Diamonds, <laughs> our girl's best friend. For award-winning singer and songwriter JoJo as she makes her official Broadway debut in the award-winning musical Moulin Rouge. The multi-talented superstar is taking in all of the glitz and glamour of the jute box extravaganza. We had a chance to catch up with her before the show. Platinum-selling singer, songwriter, and actress Joanna Jojo Levesque is no stranger to the spotlight. She made her musical debut at the age of 13 with her hit singles Leave, Get Out and Too Little Too Late and has been basking in the center stage of stardom ever since. And now she's making an entrance and leaving an impression on a new kind of stage for a glorious and show-stopping performance. I believe you were expecting me. Yes. It really is a dream come true, because I'm a, just a little girl from a small town south of Boston. I used to take the Bonanza bus into the city with my mom to go to auditions and stuff, and I would always dream of doing this. And now I'm here, and this theater is next level. The show is crazy. It's so much fun. Whether you're in it or you're in the audience, like, you're just having a blast. So it's, it's just everything. Set in 1890s Paris, a young poet falls in love with Moulin Rouge's smoldering temptress, Satine, better known as the legendary Sparkling Diamond. Come and get me, boys. Beyond the candy apple paint and windmill of one of Paris's most iconic landmarks, audiences enter into a world of splendor with famously high kicks and alluring entertainment. You get to do everything in, in this show. We, you know, they're singing, acting, dancing, running around backstage, putting on different outfits, and a lot of things that I had not done before, be, the being, being lifted into the air by these incredible, strong men on stage, and you know, coming down from the ceiling, the, the way that Satine enters into this show is pretty unforgettable. Joining the Aquamarine star on stage for the euphoric extravaganza are a few returning faces, Derek Klenna and Ricky Rojas. The fact that I have such legends and professionals and people that are coming back into, a, you know, reprise a role that they've already played is great because they have so much knowledge of the show and of all the possible ways that it could go if something goes wrong or if something, you know, something happens. They, they'll never let me fall. Ricky is hysterical and so talented. Derek is a dream to share the stage with and to, like, be team to his Christian. He's just such a kind, beautiful person. I love him, his wife, his family. They're just so sweet and make me feel so comfortable to do this every night. And she has no problem filling in the big shoes of former lead Ashley Lauren, who passed along some secrets to keeping her powerhouse vocals in tip-top shape. But Ashley is my girl, and she has been so generous with sharing all the tea with me and all the little secrets, tricks of the trade. She eats Lay's potato chips before like the show. The oils from the Lay's really help to get the cords lubricated. So she passed that info on to me and also drinking Pedialyte. Longtime fans of the chart topping vocalists are also showing their support as she takes on the new and thrilling challenge. It's very special that some of my fans are coming and experiencing this show and also that I'm being opened up to a whole new legion of fans within the Broadway community. And although her run on the jukebox musical romantic drama will eventually come to an end, the message she wants fans to take away from the experience is one that will live on even after the curtains close. I want people to be inspired to choose love and to take a chance and to um, follow their heart. As corny as it sounds, you have one life, you might as well let your heart lead you because anything else is dissatisfying. So I think that's one of the things that Moulin Rouge will inspire you to feel.